Hi there, in this video I'll show you how to configure Dokken Multi-Vendor Marketplace Plugin, PGS Wu API provide Dokken plugin support for display vendor details with products in mobile application. Go to Plugins, click on Add New. Enter Dokken in plugin search bar. Dokken Multi Vendor Marketplace, click on Install Now. After install successfully, activate the plugin. Follow the welcome wizard process. Click on Let's Go button. Vendor store URL. Extra fee recipient. Let's set this setting as default. Click on Continue button. Make selling status enable for register vendor. Select commission type. Admin commission. Admin will get amount from sales, leave it blank for now. Vendor can change order status. Admin can change the setting letter on with token settings options. Click on continue. Withdraw methods for vendors. PayPal. Bank. Skrill. Let's continue with default settings. Your marketplace is ready. Click on set up your token button. General settings. Admin area access. Disable vendor and customer from accessing the WP admin dashboard area. Vendor store URL. Enable terms and conditions for vendor store. Set Google Map API key for display map on store page. Show contact form on store page. Enable store sidebar from theme. Click on save changes. Selling options. We can configure sellings options also here which we have already configure on setup wizards. Withdraw options, page setting. We can set vendor dashboard, my order, and terms and conditions pages here. Click on save changes. Here we can set vendor setup wizard logo, store header template. Click on Save Changes. Let's create Vendor Store. So, first we need to create Vendor Account. Go to My Account page. Select I am a vendor. Enter your email address. Password. Enter first name. Last name. Enter your shop name. Here we can see store URL. 
Enter phone number. Click on register button, click on let's go. Store setup, set store products per page, enter your store address. City. Post zip code. Select country. Select state. Show email address in store. Click on continue. Payment setup. PayPal or bank transfer for vendor. Let's skip this step. Your store is ready. Click on go to your store dashboard. Let's add one product. Click on add new product. Enter product name. Product price. Select product category. Product description. Product short description. Click on create product button. Let's check store page. Click on visit store button. No product where found for this vendor. We get this message because by default vendor product status is pending. Once admin will change the product status pending to publish, then we can see this product on vendor store and product listing page. Let's change the status. Go to admin. Products. Click on all products. Here we can see currently added product by vendor. The product status is pending. Click on edit. Click on publish button for publish this. Product. Now let's check on vendor's store page, reload this page. Now we can see this product on vendor store page. Let's check product details page. Here we can see vendor info tab with vendor details. Let's check on mobile screen. Open product listing page by click on man's fashion. It will redirect to product listing page. Here you can see a product which you added from admin. Click on that product. It will redirect to product detail page.
If a product listed by other sellers, then it will show seller details under product detail page. You can contact the seller by click on contact seller button. Click back button. Click on view store to check all other product of that seller. Click back button.